The uh, sports horse people are having a lot of fun at the moment. I caught up with John Cottle, who admits it is a very busy time of the year. Just had the national championships, of course, which uh, was a great success and uh, a very nice show. And the next big one really is, well, we've got this weekend, the Canterbury Championships here at McLean's Island. And the, then in the middle of March, the Horse of the Year show, which is sort of the, the one everyone uh, sort of builds up to. You must be very pleased and proud of the depth that's now appearing. Well, I was uh, thrilled to see some really nice horses at the Nationals and in, in all, those, um, all those divisions and uh, some very nice horses being bred and uh, starting to come through the ranks now, which is uh, very encouraging. It would seem as though we're changing from, as, as one would put it, sort of farm hacks and, and, and thoroughbreds. Yes, well that's, that's really, all, for show jumpers that was what was available, was slow racehorses or, or shepherd's hacks that were too big or whatever. So that's, that, you know, not many people were breeding horses to be show jumpers. They'd, they had, you know, they started their life off for something else. In cahoots, or Aztec in cahoots to give her her full name, example of what's, what's happening now. Well, there are, there's a lot of uh, horses being brought in from Europe, a lot of mares, and um, this mare was brought in by an enthusiast, actually as a dressage horse, although she's bred very well to jump, and uh, she didn't take to dressage, obviously, and um, so Sue and myself uh, bought her, and um, here she is. So she's from Europe? She was originally bred in Germany. She's a Holsteiner mare. Um, very, her father was a horse called Baldini, who was the five-year-old champion of, of Germany of his day. Um, and then he went to, she went to Canada for a short time and then came here to actually to the South Island, to Southland, to uh, in, near Invercargill. Hopefully you and Sue will be breeding from her? We have already. We have, uh, we've been doing embryos from her. We have a very nice uh, uh, yearling colt called uh, Romeo that we um, is bit by Ramirez from her. Now we've just got a, uh, and luckily we missed the next year the foal died um, on, uh, at birth. And um, we've now got her in foal to uh, uh, her Jim Bellow horse here. Uh, we've got an embryo which has um, been successful. So this is really the next generation. This is the, mm. the, the German blood coming through. Yes, the European, well, you know, the, the horses that are bred to jump, you know, they, that's what the purpose bred, to jump, to do dressage or whatever, but um, you know, obviously we're I'm looking at jumpers. Are we going to be seeing more of these exported going back the other way? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, I mean, New Zealand horses are very sought after around the world, and, and obviously there's going to be some really good ones come through. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got a really good reputation for them being uh, very healthy. Um, very sound, uh, you know, we don't have the problems they do in, in the other parts of the world, we don't have the diseases, and uh, it's a very nice breeding and training ground here in New Zealand. You obviously work very much with young people, the depth of rider coming through? Got some very nice young riders coming through and obviously uh, they're getting better with better training and there's uh, uh, much stronger competition in, in the ranks, we've got, junior, we've got a junior competition, we've got a young rider competition. Uh, so obviously kids start off on ponies and uh, that gets them going. So the system in New Zealand is, um, is very good. It's, uh, in fact, the Australians envy us. So that means that our riders getting training from people such as yourself mm. on horses that are bred by people such as Aztec, we're going to take the world. Yes, we, well, we've got a much better chance for sure. And, and yes, we will. There'll be, you know, there'll be the really nice horses come through like, uh, you know, it's like a pyramid at the top, there's going to be, we're going to breed some Olympic horses, we'll breed Grand Prix horses, and then uh, down the line, same with riders. And uh, we've got some very good young riders in the ranks at the moment. You concentrate on show jumping. Everybody automatically thinks of Mark Todd and eventing. They are different, they are different things. It's a different discipline. You, you know, the, the eventing of old was very much cross country and endurance. The, the rules have changed a little now and, and a lot of European horses are now being successful because there's more emphasis on the show jumping and the dressage, certainly dressage. And uh, uh, New Zealand's strength has always been cross country and, and, and jumping, but dressage has never been our strong point because we never bred horses that, that move so well. 
uh, the horse like Charisma that Mark was so successful on was a fab fabulous dressage horse as well as anything else. So. Can I ask you just one other question now? I'm a bit intrigued by the earmuffs that, that show jumping horses are now wearing. There must be a reason for it other than just looking great. Well, sometimes, in fact, with this horse, we put plugs in their ears. It's a little bit like the trotters because noise has a big effect on horses. And uh, and I don't now put plugs in her ears. She's uh, She's got more used to the surroundings, but sometimes we do put a plug in here and, and the earmuffs obviously help keep them in. Earmuffs are uh, good, you know, it stops any insects or anything getting into their ears and, uh, and, and they look quite cute too, I think. <laughs> Nothing wrong with them looking good at all. After the break, we're going to be talking about matters of law.